Good evening, I'm Alex Eady. Department of Child Services Director Mary Beth Bonaventura will resign her position before the end of the month. In a resignation letter obtained by the Indianapolis Star, Bonaventura told the governor that his staff is cutting her budget and services in the midst of the opioid crisis. Today, Holcomb disputed the allegations, saying the funding for the DCS has actually increased over recent years. The governor's office says a search for her replacement is underway. The Attorney General Curtis Hill says the First Church of Cannabis and its lawsuit against the state are a political crusade turned legal stunt. The First Church of Cannabis and its leader Bill Levin want to use Indiana's Religious Freedom Restoration Act to clear a path to legal marijuana use by the church's followers. In a recent court filing, Attorney General Curtis Hill argues that Levin and other marijuana legalization activists oppose the act and used the lawsuit to mock the law. The case is set for a court hearing in March. And city officials are planning for the grand reopening of a historic Paoli Bridge nearly two years after it was damaged. But our intent is to try to have that bridge open sometime in the first part of January, at the very least. The bridge has been closed since a semi tried to cross it on Christmas Day in 2015. Dixon says the last step is installing reinforced entryways on both sides of the bridge that will prevent damage from any oversized vehicles in the future. Estimates put the cost of the repairs at about three quarters of a million dollars. A quick check of tonight's forecast, a low of 40 degrees and cloudy tonight. Looking ahead to the five-day forecast, 55 degrees on Tuesday, Wednesday 45 degrees and Thursday sunny and 49. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.